continuing along in our solutions to physics GRE GR 0877, we find ourselves on problem number 41. In an experimental observation of the photoelectric effect, the stopping potential was plotted versus the light frequency as shown in the figure above. The best straight line was fitted to the experimental points, which of the following gives the slope of the line. The work function of the metal is phi. So, photoelectric effect Ke max, kinetic energy max equals HF initial minus uh, HF of the threshold, um, threshold frequency of the metal, that equals the charge times V, uh, Q being the charge and V being the voltage. So our voltage equals Planck's constant H divided by Q and that quantity times uh, the frequency of the incoming photon minus the threshold frequency of the metal. So notice where the slope is H over Q and where we're calling um, Q is, the, the elementary charge E is um, one unit, the smallest unit of Q. So that is going to be H over Q or um, in the units of the fundamental charge is going to be H over E, that is answer B. 42, two sine waveforms of the same frequency are displayed on an oscilloscope screen as indicated above. The horizontal sweep of the oscilloscope is set to 100 nanoseconds per centimeter and the vertical gains of channels 1 and 2 are each set to 2 volts per centimeter. The zero voltage level of each channel is given at the right in the figure. The phase difference between the two waveforms is most nearly. So the period of oscillation, which is lambda, is about 6 blocks. Um, and so that is equal to 6 centimeters. So we can see, um, we, can, we can do it from right here and say, that's one block, two blocks, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then um, remembering that two pi over lambda is one full cycle, so um, two pi over six centimeters. The phase difference between a peak or a trough of channel one versus channel two is about two blocks. Um, so we can see that by saying that here is the bottom, the trough of the lower channel and then the trough of the higher channel right here so that is about one block two blocks okay and remembering that two blocks is two centimeters so the phase difference is two pi over six centimeters times two centimeters that equals two pi over three and that equals 120 degrees here is our unit circle um, get to know this make the unit circle unit circle your best friend. Um, so we can see that 2 pi over 3 is right here, 120 degrees. So that is answer E. 43, in the diamond structure of elemental carbon, the nearest neighbors of each carbon atom lie at the corners of Carbon di diamonds have atoms that arrange themselves in the shape of a tetrahedron. See below, it's a very important structure in atoms and molecules, so this is something we're just going to have to memorize that carbon, um, that carbon, elemental carbon, uh, the nearest neighbors of each carbon atom lie at the corners of a tetrahedron, and here's two pretty pictures of it below for you, um, for your reference. 44. According to the BCS theory, the attraction between Cooper pairs and a superconductor is due to, well, Cooper pairs, uh, electrons can behave as composite bosons. So two electrons, one with spin positive one half and the other with spin negative one half, both with a slight mutual attraction to the positively charged ionic lattice, have a small binding energy between themselves. So that is going to be answer D. 45. During a hurricane, a 1,200 hertz warning siren on the town hall sounds. The wind is blowing at 55 meters per second in a direction from the siren toward a person one kilometer away. With what frequency does the sound wave reach the person? The speed of sound of air is 330 meters per second. So the frequency is going to equal uh, the frequency observed times C plus VR, where C is the velocity of waves in a medium and VR is the velocity 
of um, the receiver, that quantity divided by C plus Vs. Um, and so Vs is going to equal velocity of the source. Um, and so see the equation above right here. And so when we plug in our numbers, we simply see that the frequency equals the frequency observed times and then plug in our numbers and you can see that it actually is not changed. The frequency equals 1200 hertz. Um, and you can see that, that the, it, the wind is blowing basically for both observers and the speed of sound is not changing because the medium is uh, is what's actually moving so that is going to be answer C 1200 Hertz 46 sound waves moving at 350 meters per second diffract out of a speaker enclosure with an opening that is a long rectangular slit 0.14 meters across at what frequency will the sound first disappear at an angle of 45 degrees from the normal to the speaker face. So our first minimum is going to be a d sine theta equals lambda. So d sine theta equals v divided by f. And f simply equals v divided by d sine theta, where f is the frequency. So let's plug in our numbers. And so f is going to equal 350 meters per second divided by 0.14 meters times sine of 45 degrees. Sine of 45 degrees is about 0.7. So go ahead, solve your algebra here, and you get 3,500 hertz. And that's answer D. 47. An organ pipe enclosed at one end and open at the other is designed to have a fundamental frequency of 131 hertz. What is the frequency of the next higher harmonic for this pipe? So for a pipe closed at one end and open at the other, resonant frequencies are F equals V divided by lambda equals NV divided by 4L, where L is the length. So here we can have N equals 1, 3, 5, dot, 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 or odd integers. So we know for N equals 1, the fundamental frequency, F equals V divided by 4L. And so for the next one up would be n equals 3. So for that, we have f equals 3v divided by 4l. Um, so if v divided by 4l gives 131 hertz, multiply that by 3 for our next one up, n equals 3, and that equals 393 hertz. And that would be answer D. 48. For the logic circuit of shown above which of the following boolean statements gives the output e in terms of inputs a b c and d so the first gate uh, with a and b has inverted inputs and so those are the lines above a and b individually uh, which then enter a nor gate which is your big line above and addition okay and then c and d enter a nand gate uh, so that's our big line up top and multiplication and so then the final gate uh, is then an and gate which requires no lines connecting all four above and it's just the two gates multiplied by each other so we can look down here and we can see which gates I have pictures of the main gates in the problem as well as other types of logic gates and so when we combine everything that we just discussed that is going to give us answer C 49. Which of the following lasers utilizes transitions that involve the energy levels of free atoms? So diode lasers use semiconductors, which are solids. Solid state lasers also use solids, while diode lasers use liquids. So solids and liquids are not composed of free atoms. So the free electron laser uses only electrons. Again, those are not atoms. So the only laser remaining is the gas laser, and the gas and gas is indeed made up of free atoms. So that would be answer D. 50. Which of the following expressions is proportional to the total energy for the levels of a one electron bore atom? M is the reduced mass, E is the number of protons in the nucleus, and negative E is the charge on the electron, and N is the principal quantum number. So our kinetic energy, we're going to apply equals one half mv squared. Um, Ke in terms of the angular momentum would be mv R quantity squared divided by 2m r squared. 
Um, and so if you, if, you, if you divide that out, you'll see we can just get back to 1 half mv squared, but we're doing it in terms of the angular momentum. So Bohr's relation was mvr equals nh over 2 pi. So we can say that the kinetic energy um, based on above equals n squared h squared divided by 8 pi squared mr squared. So from the viral theorem, we know that 2 times the kinetic energy equals the negative potential energy. So the total energy equals the negative kinetic energy. And so r equals the Bohr model radius, and that equals n squared h squared uh, EO divided by pi Z E squared M where M's the mass. So then from there we can see that our total energy equals negative E to the fourth M Z squared divided by eight N squared H squared um, EO squared. And that is answer C. Okay, that was another set of 10. We'll see you next time.